Big thanks to Artlist for sponsoring this video. More about them in a little bit. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to get more watch time, specifically 4,000 hours of watch time, so that you can check off that sweet, sweet monetization box. The tip number one that I'm going to give you might offend you, but it's okay, because you need to hear it. Quickly looking at it, would you rather watch this video or this video? There's no debate whatsoever. At least I don't think there's any debate whatsoever. You would probably want to watch this video right here. The tip number one is very simple. Have better video ideas. That probably sounds stupid or really arrogant at the bare minimum, but I do seriously mean it. Take time to sit down and seriously think about your video ideas. Think about if you think people would watch them. Think about why they should watch them. What value you could give them from your videos. You don't have to be Mr. Beast and have an entire team of people constantly thinking about video ideas. All you need, and this is what I've personally been doing recently, sit down with a notebook and a pencil or Google Docs or whatever works for you, and for five minutes a day, write down video ideas. Like for instance, maybe take a keyword, think about those keywords, and create video ideas from that. Tip number two that has seriously helped me start making significantly better videos is to think about if you would click on the video. If you don't even know what your video is going to be about before you make it, then you probably shouldn't be wasting your time making that video. This video that you're watching right now, I already had the title and thumbnail made before I even started filming this. Tip number three for getting 4,000 hours of watch time is to simplify your thumbnails. Try to have maybe one or two words on the thumbnail. If you need to have more, that's okay, but make sure that it has to be there. Try to only have one or two words on your thumbnail. Something that I cannot recommend enough, make your thumbnails brighter. If the background of your thumbnail is black, and somebody is scrolling through on dark mode, your thumbnail is much less likely to stand out. So, you know, maybe consider it being blue or something that I started doing recently is using backgrounds and then just blurring them like my background. If you want a tutorial on how to make thumbnails, just let me know, I'd be happy to make one. To add on to tip number three, something that I honestly can't recommend enough is study thumbnails. Look at videos that do incredibly. Something I've started doing recently is when I make a video, I will literally type in the title of my video on YouTube and see some thumbnails to get inspiration. Tip number four is by far the most important tip to getting 4,000 hours of watch time. But before I tell you that tip, let's have a word from our sponsor. You, yeah, that's right, you. Don't push the skip forward 10 seconds button. I rigged it to explode. Have you ever wanted to add background music to your video? Sorry, I was just catching the people that pushed the skip forward 10 seconds button. You want to add background music to your video, go to Artlist. If you use my link in the description down below, you get two months added on to a one year subscription. And the main thing I like about Artlist is if you subscribe to their Creator Pro subscription, you get to use the music forever. Even after your subscription ends, you can still use that downloaded music in your video. So head on over to my referral link in the description down below and thank you again to Artlist for sponsoring this video. Now back to how to get 4,000 hours of watch time. This is by far the most important tip. However, in my personal opinion, it's the most difficult of all of these. And that is to hook your audience. The average attention span of a human is eight seconds long, which is nuts. That means that at the absolute best, realistically speaking, you have about 15 to 20 seconds to make somebody want to watch your video. I actually recorded a comedy bit for this video, but I thought that's not really going to hook people and it's not going to reinforce the title any. So please, Try your best. Study. This is something that's so important. Sit down and take notes from a Mr. Beast video. This has helped me so much. Just literally look at his most recent video. Write down things you notice. Write down things that you might find useful or whatnot. I've started doing this with other YouTubers as well, but it is incredibly important to hook your audience. Give them a reason to watch through your video and something I personally think you should do is reinforce the title. This has been proven to have higher 
watch retentions. If you mention your title or mention something about your title, like for instance, if you recall at the start of this video, in this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to get more watch time, specifically 4,000 hours of watch time. Use your most complicated edits. Use your most flashy effects. Don't just color vomit on people in the first 30 seconds. Give them substance that makes them want to watch all the way through your video. Maybe give them the end of the video, but blur out what happens at the end. Or maybe tell them that there are tips at the end that they're not going to want to miss. Now, tip number five that I could give you is cut anything and everything that's boring from your videos. Something I have personally started doing is what's called the boring draft of my videos, which is where after I finish the rough cut in editing, I go through and anything that bores me at all, I cut it. I ax it. If anything makes you look away from the screen or check the time or generally, if it bores you, get rid of it. If it doesn't build on the video, give helpful information or isn't funny, then get rid of it. They want to keep it in, you know, you may have a, a special little connection to that part of the video or whatnot. At a comedy bit I was originally going to do, I ended up cutting it because it just didn't add anything at all to the video. I hate it for you, I really do, because I know you probably spent a good bit of time getting that cool clip. But if something bores you and you're editing it, cut it out. The sixth tip I can give you to getting 4,000 hours of watch time kind of ties into the fourth, and that is... Give your audience a reason to watch all the way through the video. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, have a big payoff at the end. Save the biggest and most helpful tip that you have for the very end of the video or save it for right after the ad break. That is what I did with this video. Don't waste people's time throughout the video. Just keep building until the final tip which is convenient because the seventh and final tip that I have for getting 4,000 hours of watch time is watch more videos like this. Watch videos that will educate you about YouTube. Watch videos that will educate you about titles. Watch videos that will educate you about thumbnails. If you are trying to hit monetization, I legitimately mean it when I say I would not have hit monetization if it weren't for me watching channels like Colin and Samir, if it weren't for me watching channels like Mr. Beast. Listen to interviews with people like Mr. Beast, like Ryan Trahan, like Eric, people like that. Listen to them, break down the platform. Follow channels that will give you useful information about YouTube. A really great channel that I watch to learn about YouTube is Think Media. They have lots of helpful videos on things like videos, cameras, and how to hit monetization, just like this video. They have so many videos that just break down every step of the YouTube creation process from filming to lighting to editing that is just so helpful, I could not recommend their channel more. Learn the analytics. Learn what terms mean. Learn what CPMs are. Learn what AVDs are. Learn what AVPs are. Learn everything about your analytics. Now, something very dangerous that you need to be incredibly careful about is do not get sucked into the analytics. And please, whatever you do, do not tie your self-worth into analytics. This is something that I personally struggled with about a year or two ago, and I'm telling you, it's incredibly dangerous. So guess what? There are going to be times when views are down. There are going to be times where once you do hit monetization, money is going to be down. Money's down for me right now. See how many impressions your channel is making. Learn about analytics and learn how to read them and implement them into further content going forward. Follow all these steps religiously, then hopefully you will see your watch time start to seriously increase and get closer or even past 4,000 hours of watch time. That puts you one step closer to monetization. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment beans in the comment section down below just so that I know you made it all the way through. If you want to see my personal setup tour, click right here. If you want to see another random video that I made that YouTube thinks you might like, click right here. If you want to subscribe, click right on my face. Thank you so much for watching, and once again, thank you to Artlist for sponsoring this video, and I'll talk to you all next time.